Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Agik AMD FX A320E review. This processor is a Torres 4 GHz is and it's an 8 core processor and then it is only costing you 140 US dollar. So let's find out is this processor worth for 140 dollar or you should just go with the older i7 or i5. Let's find out. Stay with me. It's me Jimmy Agik. So basically, this is Intel FX. A320e processor which have a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz with a turbo clock of 4 gigahertz basically the turbo clock means the processor will run at 3.2 gigahertz normally but when it need more power when it need to compute more when it need, it need to put some kind of rendering effect in it so basically this processor will I mean the frequency of this processor will jump from 3.2 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz basically some multiplier time the crystal if you know something about how processor work and it have L2 8 MB cache and then L3 8 MB cache not much I will say it's not much if you don't know what the hell is L3 cache L3 cache mean 8 MB will be shared between all 8 core basically the most faster ram in the world is, is the cache memory the s ram and then the gddr and then the ddr the most faster memory is the l cache basically s ram why we have only 8 mb because so freaking expensive we cannot afford it that's so why we put very little the uh, cache memory on the processor basically whenever the processor is asking for any information the ram is slow even the whatever the the north bridge is i mean trying to pull the information is even slow compared to the cache so the around around 8 m um, 8 mb amount of data can be stored in a ram for the quick processing basically it have 8 mb for 8 cores so it means 1 core equal 1 mb my i7 have uh, 6 mb of mb and then it have 4 cores so it means 1.5 mb per core which is much better so basically this kind of processor must at least need to have 16 MB for 8 core so it means each core can add, get 2 MB basically if you don't know what the hell I'm talking you are not a true geek you if you really wanna understand how processor works because nowadays we really cannot buy a processor just depend on 4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz 6 gigahertz no we need to look in all things we need to put everything in context like the base frequency turbo frequency core multi-core logical core threads l1 cache l2 cache l3 cache and then the tdp all of things basically this processor for uh, dual channel ddr3 dual channel where my q channel where, where my triple channel is okay nothing special basically this processor you will be thinking gmail geek tell us a benchmark right this processor stay with me hold your breath this processor amd fx a320e is behind is behind behind i7 2600k if you don't know i7 2600k is a two years old processor already more than two years old processor the new amd fx a20e is is behind in a video rendering test so it means nearly my three years old i7 not my i didn't own it basically the people own it you will be wondering that the new AMD 8 core FX 3820E is behind 3 years old i7 2600K. Indeed, yes, this benchmark is based on the video rendering benchmark. I do not go into the crap like whatever the geek benchmark, the 3D mark benchmark. No, the real benchmark is always the video rendering benchmark. Only I look at one benchmark in my life, only one benchmark, which is video rendering benchmark if you really want to make the stuff simple to understand just look at the video rendering benchmark because the video rendering benchmark push all the all the uh, processor power to i mean to its need basically basically the, the processor try to become overheated and then try to i mean 100 percent you want to use your processor within fully core use within fully thread i mean the logical core use just run a video rendering benchmark and find out still i will say if you really like amd i'm an amd fanboy by the way but i will not recommend this processor stay away from amd fx 8320 it's better you buy the amd fx 8 150 
is a three years old processor you just buy the like amd fx 8350 not a much price difference a minor price difference it perform amd fx 8350 perform much better than the amd this one crappy f320e and then the f370e stay away from this amd 8320e and then the amd 8370e just stay away just go with the AMD FX 8350, the best bank for your money. It's me, Jimmy Agi. Subscribe to my channel. You can hate me, but you cannot ignore me. If you like this video, just click the like button. If you dislike this video, just click the dislike button. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment below. Just leave it in the comment box below. So, it's me, Jimmy Agi. Bye bye.